unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you will not have life in you. A new movie created by Hollywood directors and artists takes a deep dive into the beauty of Holy Communion and true presence. The new manna also illustrates the power of Eucharistic miracles, as well as featured interviews from witnesses, medical doctors, and Catholic leaders like Dr. Scott Hahn and Antonia Okudis, the mother of blessed Carlo Okudis. And joining us now is Antonio Okudis and Angelo Lebuti, director of the upcoming film, The New Man. I thank you both so much for joining us today. It is an honor. Angelo, I want to start with you. If you don't mind, please tell us a little bit more about the movie and what inspired you to produce it. Absolutely. I mean, the, we start everything, I think, uh, pretty much during the period of the COVID when we were absent for the possibility to have in the, the Eucharist as often as I was used to, be able to go every day in Mass and go to adoration every day. Most of the times I was going to from night time from 2 o'clock to 4 o'clock in the morning when my work schedule was really hard. So that was uh, the, the, the start, the beginning for it. And uh, the love and passion I had for the Eucharist was instilled for me from my godfather was a uh, Padre Pio personal assistant for 25 years. I thought, I mean, I had to do something about it. I mean, and uh, I had, uh, I, I start to see some problems uh, with my industry for this type of script I was receiving, uh, as well uh, for uh, some attacks I had uh, when I start to pro uh, proclaim my faith. So I thought, okay, somebody have to do it. And uh, I visualizing, I visualized the fact, I mean, uh, what was needed. Uh, I never seen something before in, in, my, in my life from Hollywood, uh, Hollywood quality, so, which is uh, like uh, representing uh, every Bible passage that covered the Eucharist. If you look, for example, like, there is no any movie ever done that covered those Bible passages. And I think I thought, I mean, okay, this sounds suspicious. So somebody have to do it, and uh, the Eucharist is the core. And there are so many visuals I had right away uh, for how to representing the the transubstantiation, uh, how to represent in, uh, every kind of medical things that uh, for some people was extremely hard. And uh, but I, that's my job is to visualize in things that nobody else is able to. And I, I think I've been proven with all these years in Marvel, Disney, DreamWorks, Paramount, uh, Recently Fox, Warner Brothers. So I kind of thought, uh, let's do it. Let's do the jump. I asked permission to my wife because we knew we're going to go through some difficulty because uh, obviously some the guy downstairs probably wouldn't like it. Yeah. So here you go. Now I am here. Well, we're all excited about it. And, and Antonia, I want to talk to you next. Um, your son, Blessed Carlo, uh, he kept a website detailing Eucharistic miracles. Can you talk to us about that and how he became so interested in the topic? But he started to teach catechism when he was uh, 11 years old. And he realized that uh, there, is, there was a problem. He used to say there are queues in front of a concert, in front of a football match, but I don't see these queues in front of the Blessed Sacrament. And uh, Carlo was, uh, uh, since he was seven years old, he started to go to Mass each day, to do Eucharistic adoration each day. And so for him, the Eucharist was the center of his life. And uh, he had this uh, sort of vision, vision, let's say, idea huh? and intuition that through this Eucharistic miracle that happened uh, throughout the centuries and uh, that were recognized from the church, it was possible to help people to understand that in the Blessed Sacrament there is really the real presence of God. And uh, recently, we had uh, many Eucharistic miracles that were recognized from the church, from the scientific community. And all these uh, uh, miracles are uh, 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 the host that became flesh that is a part of uh, the miracle. Jesus showed us his love, you know, his sense, because he is love. We know that uh, God is love. And so it's so, uh, so touching, this. And there are so many signs. And I think... Uh, that God sometimes in his mercy to help our faith that is very weak, help us with his sign. And this film of Angelo, in my opinion, really is uh, uh, so powerful and it can, it can help so much people to understand the real presence of God in the blessed sacrament. That is the most important thing because only Jesus can uh, transfigure and heal our soul 
and uh, really help us in the path to our uh, whole sainthood, to our, uh, our, uh, our uh, motherland, which is heaven. And really, we have the bread of life with us. He promised, I will be with you till the end of the, way of, the, of, the, of the world, and he is with us always. And the Eucharist is really the highway to heaven. Yes, it is. Um, we're almost out of time, unfortunately. So much we could talk about. But Angelo, um, I want to ask you this. What do you hope people take away from the movie? And also, when do you think we can expect it to be released? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's uh, the, the whole goal is to be able to provide about visual and an understanding uh, for the perfectly Catholic Church what to teach. So there's so many misconceptions, even with our brother Protestant, for what we do believe regarding the Eucharist. And with this one, for sure, we're going to clarify everything perfectly. I mean, everything was done with the Dwey Raymond Bible, with the Catena Aurea for St. Thomas Aquinas, all perfectly fooled with so many theologians' help, uh, so it would be perfectly clear. And so this way, everything, all the problems that we have with people, at least we know we're going to be able to put on the table and clarify perfectly what they are. It's a, it's, a, it's a story about a non-believer that uh, moved on the journey to try to disprove in the Eucharist and then end up to finally to believe. I mean, so he's going to do the same steps a normal non-believer is going to do it. The, for, the, for the final things, so we really hope uh, to finish uh, for uh, June uh, for 2024 uh, because it's going to be the, the big, a really big event of... Uh, uh, long yet, yeah, uh, for the for the uh, revival. Uh, so we, we hope, I mean, uh, I think as soon as we hit our target, uh, uh, minimum $1 million for, 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 for the final part, uh, for the post-production part of it, uh, then uh, we are going to be able to go full, 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 full production yeah, and finish within uh, three to six months maximum. Okay, well, we're going to be praying for that. Antonio and Angelo, thank you so much for coming on. God bless you both, and, and God bless you on this movie. Thank you for doing it. Yeah, God bless you, too. Thank you. Thank you.